Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Aglasim Schools and we are here with the next video for chapter 2 that is Frictionless Decimals of NCRT class 7. So we have already done a video where we discussed exercise 2.1 question 1 to 3 and now we'll be continuing with other questions of this exercise. So basically we'll discuss question 4, 5 and 6 in this video that is related to simple addition and subtraction of various fractions. Question number 4 says there is a rectangular sheet of paper which is 12 1 by 2 centimeter long and 10 2 by 3 centimeter wide. So we need to find its perimeter. So the answer to this question lies in the formula of perimeter itself. So if we know what is the formula of perimeter of a rectangle, we can easily find the answer and that is 2 length plus breadth. We are given with the length, we are given with the breadth. What if I don't know the perimeter formula? It's simple, perimeter is actually the addition of all four sides that is the length of all four sides if added together it gives you perimeter and here what we need to do is just we need to add 12 1 by 2 plus 10 2 by 3 plus 12 1 by 2 plus 10 2 by 3 so this is basically the same thing that is twice of 12 1 by 2 plus 10 2 by 3 and what is 12 1 by 2 this is what we need to find that is 25 by 2 plus 32 by 3 now if we take the LCM that comes out to be 6 and here we'll have 75 that is 25 into 3 plus 64 so that comes out to be twice of 139 divided by 6 so that is equal to 139 by 3 centimeter now if you wish to convert into a mixed fraction that is 46 1 by 3 centimeter so this is the perimeter of this rectangle Coming on to question number 5, we have there we need to find the perimeter of a given figure and the figure that is given to us is consisting of a triangle and a rectangle. So what are the sides of triangle and rectangle? Let's mention that this is A, this is B, this is C, this is D and this is E. This is given to you as 5 by 2 this is 3 3 by 5 this is 2 3 by 4 and 7 by 6 so let me write to make it more clear since it's not visible to everyone so a b is 5 by 2 b e is 2 3 by 4 AE is 3 3 by 5 now if we have to find perimeter of triangle A B E what is that it is simply addition of the three sides so that is AB plus BE plus AE and what are the three sides very simple the three sides are 5 by 2 plus 2 3 by 4 that is this and lastly 3 3 by 5 so this is this now we'll change it into definite fraction so that is we need to have LCM before that so let's change it into fraction first it's 5 by 2 plus 2 for the 8 plus 3 that is 11 by 4 plus 
फाइव थ्री या फिफ्टीन प्लस थ्री एटीन बाय फाइव नाउ फाइव फोर टू एल सी एम एज ट्वेंटी सो वी हैव ट्वेंटी हेयर फिफ्टी हेयर हेयर विल हैव फिफ्टी फाइव एंड फाइनली विल हैव सेवेंटी टू सो दैट मेक्स वन सेवेंटी सेवन बाय ट्वेंटी और इफ यू विश टू कन्वर्ट इन टू आ मिक्स फ्रैक्शन सो इट विल बी एट एंड हेयर इट विल बी सेवेंटीन बाय ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन पेरीमीटर ऑफ रेक्टेंगल सेंस वी ऑलरेडी नो द फॉर्मूला इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन वी हैव कवर दैट सो पेरीमीटर ऑफ द रेक्टेंगल विल बी B C D E is actually twice of length plus breadth, so that is. Let me write with the black or blue pen. So that is two into what is the length? Length is B E. B E plus. What is the any one width? D E is given to us. Let's take that. So that is two of. BE is given to us by two, three by four. That is eleven by four. Plus, D is given to us by seven by six. So let's take an LCM. LCM of four and six is twelve. So here we'll have thirty-three, and here we'll have fourteen. So that gives us forty-seven by six as the L perimeter. Or if we convert it into a mixed fraction, seven five by six centimeter. Now the question demanded, whose perimeter is greater? Now since here, the thing that has been asked is you have to compare this value with this value. So can you directly compare? No, because we'll need to convert them into. Like fractions. So on comparing, what we'll do is we'll write on comparing how we'll find whether one seventy seven by twenty is greater than or less than forty seven by sixty, forty、uh, seven by six. So what we'll do? Let's change either this or this to the similar parameter. So. We'll have one seventy-seven by twenty converted into say sixty format because six is here, so we can easily convert it into sixty format. So multiply by three both sides, so you get five thirty-one upon sixty. Similarly, we have forty-seven by six, so let's multiply it by ten. So we have four seventy divided by sixty. Now you can easily make it out which is greater and which is smaller. So obviously this is greater. So you can say perimeter of triangle ABE is greater than perimeter of rectangle BCDE. That's it. Coming on to question number six now, which specifies Salil wants to put a picture in a frame. The picture is seven three by five centimeter wide. And to fit in the frame, the picture can't be more than seven three by ten centimeter wide. This question specifies there is a picture, and the width of the picture is seven three by five centimeter. That means actually it's thirty eight by five centimeter. They want to put this picture into a frame, and the width of the frame is also given. That is seven three by ten centimeter. That is actually seventy three by ten centimeter. Now, if I ask you, if you want to put a picture in a frame, what should be ideal width? Or dimensions of that particular picture that must be equal to whatsoever can be fitted into that particular frame. So here, what the problem is, the frame width that is provided to you is lower, 
and you want to put a picture in that particular frame. So what I'll do is I need to check how much shall I trim my picture so as it gets fit into that frame. So I'll basically subtract my width of picture from width of the frame. So the question now will be answered by subtracting the picture width to be trimmed. Thirty eight by five minus seventy three by ten. So that gives you making it into like fractions. So thirty eight by five. Firstly, I need to convert it into the like fraction. So I multiply by and divide by two by two. So that gives you seventy six by ten minus seventy three by ten. So that brings me up 3 by 10 is the width that requires to be trimmed so as the picture gets fitted into that particular frame so this is what is required from this so this is all from this video we hope you like that video and for the other questions that is question 7 and 8 we'll have definitely a set of another video that will be coming up in case if you have any queries related to question number four five and six please write into the comment section below thank you